Hello and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can create and use custom performance counters within our application. The ability to create a custom performance counter is something that's actually built into .NET, and it's pretty easy to do. And in case you weren't aware of this, actually, Windows operating system comes with a utility called Perfmon, which actually allows you to take a look at performance counters and the measurements of those performance counters in real time within your operating system. And in case you haven't seen it, it's just perfmon, so you can go to your command line and type in perfmon, P-E-R-F-M-O-N, and it'll launch a screen like this. And within perfmon, there are many counters, and you can add as many as you want. And you can see that built in, there's things for SQL Server, there's stuff for .NET, ASP.NET, MSQ, all various different stuff. So if you never play with this, take a few minutes right now, play with it, have some fun. Now what we're, what we're going to do in our episode today is actually create a custom counter, create a category for it, and then add value to it and be able to watch it increment across on Perfmon. Now I did say this was fairly easy and fairly straightforward, but like everything else we do, it may be easy, but there are always the gotchas and things you have to look out for. So I'll point those out as I go along, and we'll take a look at those various scenarios. Now in order to create a category, you really just need to do three things. Create and utilize a category, that is. You need to create your category. In our case, we'll call this Dimecast Demo. You need to create the individual counters within your category. Then you need to create an instance of a counter and actually write to it. So the first thing we need to do is we're actually going to create our data collection. Our data collection is what is actually going to create or hold instances of our counter and we'll then add that instance of the counter to our uh, custom category or custom counter category. This counter creation data collection object is actually what is used to hold all of our data collection objects. Now that I've created that, let's go ahead and create a new creation counter creation data. This object here is actually what is used to you know create a counter, give it a name, and tell it the type of the counter. Um, we're going to give this counter type, uh, and we'll call this number of items. Next parameter here is help. We're not going to really worry too much about help. And then you have to give it a performance counter type. And there are various different kinds of performance counters. There's sample based, there's timer based, there's incremental based, there's averages, whole nine yards. We're just going to go ahead and use a number of items. So we use number of items 32. And now that I've created my actual counter, let's go ahead and add that to my collection real quick. Now that we've actually added our counter to our collection, we have to have something to put our collection in, as well as to put our counter in, so we're going to need to create our performance category. In order to do that, you can use the performance counter category class. It has a set of static methods on it that you can see here. There's create, delete, exist, get categories. We're going to go ahead and use the create method. We're going to call this a Dimecast demo category. And that will actually be what you'll search for in your list, and I'll show you that here in a second. And again, don't really care about the help text at this point in time. And then you'll need to tell it the category type. There are two different category types, single and multi-instance. We're going to go ahead and use multi-instance here. And then the last parameter is you know, your data, or your individual counters that you want to use. So we're going to put in here our collection. And at this point, we've actually created our counter. Let's run our test real quick and see if we can actually get it to be created for us. So our test is run. Now you can actually take a look at the, all the performance counters through the Server Explorer. And if I refresh this, there is a new counter here called Dimecast. Well, Demi, I misspelled it, but we're not going to worry too much about that. And a counter, it's called number of items. So now we can see we actually can create our counter. Let's actually take a look at, you know, adding data to our counter. In order to do that, all you need to do is create an instance of our performance counter. We're going to call new performance counter. We'll call this Dimecast. Our counter name that we're going to work on is just going to be number of items. The instance name we're going to give it, we'll give this demo. 
And we won't actually be able to write data to it, so we'll tell us it's not read-only. Counter. And then when you have an instance of your counter, you want to be able to add things to it or remove things from it, and they've got a series of methods that you can do that. Increment, decrement, increment by, decrement by. We're going to go ahead and use increment by, and we'll say 2, just so you can kind of see it go up a little bit. Let's rerun this again, and then we'll be able to bounce over to perfmon and actually see it in action. Wait a minute, didn't hit my breakpoint, what happened? Ah, uh, ha. Huh. Can only create the category one time. This code here can only ever be called one time. For our demo here, what I actually want to do is actually check to see if it exists, and if it does, go ahead and delete it. Now, in a real scenario, you probably wouldn't want to delete it if it exists, but for our demo here, we'll go ahead and do that so we can make changes to it as we needed. Now, let's rerun our test. Hmm. Still failed. What happened? The requested performance counter is not a custom counter. It has to be initialized as read-only. Interesting. What did I do that's wrong? So I created everything here. You saw that we could create our category correctly. I want to create an instance of my counter. Aha. All right. Performance counter takes parameter of category name. I enter dimecast, but it's actually incorrect. It needs to be this. So let's try this again. By the way, that that there is one of the biggest gotchas that I ran into while you know learning how to create these back in the day because I didn't quite do understand that they had to be the exact same and I you know or a typo would, would get you but those need to be the same and now that I changed that to match my category name it seems to work just fine and if I hover over my counter you can see the raw value is 2 raw value is 6 and finally, now the raw value is 30. So I am incrementing my counter. Now, the real thing is, can I jump over my perfmon and see it? So let's open up perfmon here. Let's go add counter. I have dimecast, number of items, which is my counter name, and demo, which is my instance. I'm going to go ahead and click add. Looks like I added it twice. Let's delete all the other ones except for that one. And right now you can see the blue line is just steady at 30. Let's move the ex the execution point up a bit and rerun that. And you can see that the blue line goes up. And if I did decrement, it would go down. So there you have it. In a matter of seven or eight minutes, we've actually created a custom category, custom counters. And we've seen how we can look at this information in Perfmont. Now, if I run this again, you'll see how this is just continuing going. It's monitoring. It's looking at the last known value. If we run this again, the value goes down, and it's back at 30 again, because now the last known value is 30. What this will do is it'll poll every uh, fraction of a second. I don't know the exact timing, but it polls very, very often. We've now created a custom category, we've created a counter, we've incremented our counter, we've seen it in Perfmon. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward, fairly simple. Only a couple gotchas to pay attention to. One of my point, Two of my pointed out, which is you can't recreate a category twice. The other is that when you create a counter, the category name that you want to use much, must match an existing category. The other one I didn't point out to you is that this here, number of items, this is the name of the counter I want to use. If I misspell this or mistype it, I will not get the same results or any results that I expect. So make sure you take a look for those couple gotchas. And until next time.